<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a video on Patton Oswalt. Uh, Patton Oswalt is doing a Netflix comedy special, and of course, you know there are some other people that do Netflix comedy specials that are edgy, like his friend question mark uh, Dave Chappelle and Ricky Gervais, who have just let her fly and have reaped uh, uh, great, great viewership numbers and uh, great financial success. And now Patton Oswalt wants to weigh in on wokeness and cancel culture. When Patton Oswalt threw his own friend, Dave Chappelle under the bus, <laughs> uh, this is earlier in the year. He put a picture up of him and Dave Chappelle. He got all kinds of backlash and he went to the media and was like, well, you know, sometimes you got to reconsider people, you know, so I've cut people off for his friends, you know, but uh, Dave's on a journey and I didn't know it was going to upset people to put his picture up because he probably had this deal. He probably had this deal. So what, what this video is going to be about is that Hollywood now is starting to realize that wokeness is not it, man. It's not bring in the numbers, is not bring in the money. Hollywood wants to have it both ways. They want to be able to make money, but they don't want to have to deal with all the Twitter backlash. They want to have their cake and eat it too. And the reality is the vast majority of, of people in Hollywood do not feel the way that they uh, act like they feel because they're actors. Uh, they really don't. They, I'm sure, and we've talked to people, I'm not gonna say who, but we've talked to people, uh, back channel, and there is a feeling in Hollywood that it's very stifling, that people have to watch what they say, they're terrified of Twitter, um, they are acting, they're putting on a persona of being good, virtuous people, when in reality, they just wanna make a living, they wanna make money, they wanna be funny, they wanna be able to make the shows and the movies they wanna make, but Twitter has a stranglehold Twitter and the media and all the activists working all over the place, social media and the media media has a stranglehold on them and they're not allowed to because if you say the wrong thing, you're going to get canceled. So this is going to be, this is going to be really interesting to watch because I think we're going to see a lot of people and I, I think Zach actually did a video on this. A lot of people who said that they were always against cancel culture when there are receipts that no, they actually were uh, kowtowing to cancel culture. We're going to see a lot of this. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 273,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Speaking of support, I just wanted to give you guys the heads up that we are reworking and reorganizing clownfishtv.com. Uh, we are going to turn it into a, a pop culture news site, entertainment news uh, with a different point of views. Um, we're going to cover a lot of different things on the site, anime and stuff like that, that we don't have time to cover in videos every day. And we've got some contributors and uh, we're basically merging the D-Res site with the Clownfish TV site. And I'm pretty excited about it. I think that it's uh, it's actually going to go pretty well. Um, just want to create a pop culture site like, like we had 10, 15 years ago, roll things back. And that's, I think what Hollywood wants to do is roll things back. They're like, oh my God, we have created a monster. We've created a monster. So before we get into this article on The Hollywood Reporter, uh, Patton Oswalt had to um, explain himself, explain himself for putting up a picture of him hanging out with Dave Chappelle, you know, because Dave Chappelle was problematic. This was back in January. Um, he said on uh, Instagram back in January, uh, he got a text from Dave Chappelle, come over to the arena. He's performing in next door and do a guest set. Why not? I wave goodbye to this hell year with a genius. I started comedy with 34 years ago. This guy has been friends with Dave Chappelle for 34 years. He works in an arena. Like he's talking to one person and charming their skin off. I ended the year with a real friend and a deep laugh. Can't ask for much more, but, but Twitter had their way with Patton Oswalt. Commenters weren't letting Oswald off the hook for touting his friendship, let alone performing with a quasi-canceled person, at least not without an explanation. Explain yourself. Explain yourself, Patton Oswald. The explanation came the next day, but not before Oswald had deleted a lot of comments on his original post. I naively deleted a lot of posts in the comment thread, critical ones from LGBTQ writers and posts by turf anti-trans works looking for clicks and giggles. I wanted a nice comment thread about the pic with my friend, Ugg. I think he was testing the waters. 
he, he was testing the waters. That's my personal opinion. I don't know Patton Oswalt. I've never talked to Patton Oswalt. I don't know anybody that knows Patton Oswalt. I probably will never meet Matt, Patton Oswalt. But I think he's testing the waters because I think at this point in time, in January of 2022, he probably would have known that he was doing some stuff for Netflix or he already had a deal with Netflix. And, you know, he doesn't want to be combative. He's trying to chum up to, you know, Chappelle publicly and be like, yeah, I'm supporting Netflix and Dave Chappelle. Um, he said he uh, he's one of the funniest comedians he's ever met. He refocused and refined his ideas and uh, a lot of us took a settled about race and history and life on planet Earth and spun them around with a phrase and a punchline. But we 100% disagree about trans rights and representation. I support trans people's rights, anyone's rights to live safely in the world. Um, for all the things he's helped me evolve on, I'll always disagree with him. Now, th that's the thing. People can agree to disagree. But he <laughs> he put a picture up and he had to have known what was going to happen. And I think he was testing the waters to see where, where people were at. And he got backlash. Of course he did. It was social media. Um, Oswald reflected on his own behavior, uh, his own behavior. I don't believe a seeker like Chappelle has done evolving learning, you know, someone that long, uh, see the struggles and changes. It's impossible to cut them off. Impossible not to be hopeful and open and cheer them on. I'm hoping, I'm hoping Dave Chappelle sees the light and comes over to our side, guys. I hope he comes over to our side. That's why I'm hanging out with him. I'm trying to convert him to Wokenism. I'm trying to convert him. That's why I'm hanging out with him. Because I'm hoping my goodness will rub off on him. I'm hoping my goodness will rub off on Dave Chappelle. I've been carrying a lot of guilt about friends I've cut off who had views with uh, I, didn't, I couldn't agree with or changed in ways I couldn't live with. Sometimes I've wondered, did I and others cutting them off make them dig their heels in deeper, fuel their ignorance with a nitro boost of resentment and spite? Yes! This is why we're seeing a lot of the weird ass shit that we're seeing right now, because a lot of people in this country feel like they're getting an unfair, uh, unfair rap for being horrible people because of uh, their belief systems or because of their politics or whatever. So instead of hearing the other side out, they're like, you're all fucking nuts and we're not going to listen to you. You're all nuts. You're all crazy. Whatever good point you might have had, I, I, I'm not listening. Yes, it does. It actually creates this vicious cycle where one side doesn't listen to the other. And that's on both sides of it. Like people were like, yeah, the other side's a lost cause and that's it. Uh, Sarah Silverman said something similar. And again, it's always comedians because, you know, they want to push it, but they don't know how far they can push it. Uh, he's, he's an ally. I'm a loyal friend. There's friction in those traits. I need to reconcile with myself. I'm truly sorry for not considering this picture with Chappelle would spark feelings of hurt and betrayal. So easy to think someone else needs growth and miss the point in yourself. I'm going to keep trying, guys. It was very insensitive of me. It was very insensitive of me to post a picture of my friend of 34 years. You know, and but I need to hang out with this guy so he can be a good person too. So this morning, an interview goes up with Patton Oswalt on The Hollywood Reporter talking about wokeness and cancel culture and his new Netflix special. So I'm thinking to myself, is wait, is he doing a 180 just to try to get people to to watch his special because it's it, it's worked with Chappelle, it's worked with Ricky Gervais. No, he's kind of being wishy-washy about it. So if you do a search for woke here, you can find what he talked about. He said that he uh he uh called from his car on the 405. <laughs> That's how important the Hollywood reporter is. He just pulled over the car and talked to him. Um he's talking about making content for a fractured American contending with wokeness and cancel culture. Um, so this is the Hollywood reporter saying there are plenty of people who will tell you that going on stage right now is scary. Well, yeah, because your friend Dave Chappelle got attacked on stage. Your friend, uh, Dave Chappelle had his, his show canceled like hours before it started in Minneapolis because people were pissed off at him. Like they wait until like that night and then they, they cancel the show. So yeah, it's kind of, kind of dicey right now. You don't know what might happen and because you don't know how your material might land out of context. You don't want to offend anybody. Are these concerns that you share? So this is what this is what Patton Oswalt says about wokeness. I think that comedians deserve context in what they say. You should just cancel out of context. But I also think comedians have a responsibility to evolve and to try to push things forward. 
And pushing the envelope doesn't mean digging your feet in while the envelope moves forward. You should be ahead of that envelope. That's how you should be pushing it. And again, the whole battle over wokeness is nothing new. This happened in the 80s, it happened in the 90s, and it'll happen again in another form. That's what I was talking about in the special. I do a joke about in the future, what am I going to be canceled for? And you don't know, but you want to at least try to keep progressing. This is coming <laughs> This is coming from the man who's trying to cancel, or well, he's not trying to cancel Dave Chappelle, but he had to apologize for, for associating with Dave Chappelle. So I'm like, this is probably going to be a very unfunny special. I don't know. He said, the other thing I'd like to say is that comedy has always worked better with restrictions. Comedy has always worked better with restrictions. Think of the restrictions that Richard Pryor and George Carlin had before them, Lenny Bruce, and they found clever, brilliant ways around whatever the restrictions were. And that's what made it so fun and thrilling. I'm just, I'm letting this digest. This is a comedian. This is a comedian. Comedy works best when it's con contained. Comedy works best when, when uh, you don't say what you really feel. You have to find a clever way to dance around the issue. Because if you say what you really feel, you might get canceled like your former friend. You know, the one I hung out with that I really shouldn't have because it made people feel bad. God, this is wishy-washy. But the thing is, is we're going to see a lot of this because I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't think Patton Oswalt is all that woke. I really don't think he is. I think he's playing the part. He's playing the part because he's cultivated an audience in the last uh, few years of wokies on Twitter. And he's playing the part because he doesn't want to get canceled like Dave Chappelle because he saw firsthand what happens when you say what you actually think. You know, but the flip side of that is if you say what you actually think, uh, people will support you because a lot of people are feeling the same way, you know, and they want comedians who are unfiltered. I mean, you mentioned George Carlin and you mentioned Richard Pryor and both of those men, I believe, would be absolutely ashamed of a comedian saying Com comedy needs to be restricted, you know, because you need to find clever ways to be funny within the system, within the censorship. You know, look at look at all these Chinese comedians that, that, you know, they can't tell any jokes, but they're really funny. They can't really say what they feel, but they're really funny people. So I'm like, this is going to be a disaster. But the thing is, is like, look, we're going to see a lot more of this. We're going to see a lot more of this because there are people who have doubled down on cancel culture and political correctness and activism in the last five, 10 years, whatever. And they're starting to see it doesn't work. It doesn't retain audiences. In fact, it actively pushes people away. When you tell people they're awful people, day in, day out for years, it pushes people away. And we're starting to see the bigger picture now that like all of these people have been listening to Twitter and Twitter's fucking fake. It's fake. You've been playing to an audience that's fake for five years and you've been throwing friends and burning bridges, canceling people. For a fake audience or a very statistically small audience, you know? So we're going to see a lot of people that were actively participating in cancel culture come around and be like, yeah, you know, I didn't really care for it too much. Mm, yeah, it's time to get over. It's time to move forward. I'm going to, it's like, yeah, you're trying to save your ass because right now people are looking at you like, what the hell? You're the guy that threw Chappelle under the bus and you're just trying to get some points now. And, uh, you know, I, and we're going to see a lot of this, guys. We're going to see a lot of this. We're going to have studios come out. We're going to have franchises maybe get walked back a little bit in the years to come. They're going to pivot to profit. They're going to try to walk it back. And you're not going to hear a damn thing about how people working on the uh, quote unquote woke version of the show, the political correct version of the show, how they spent years attacking people in the media. You're not going to hear a damn thing about it. It's going to be like, yeah, we're just, we decided, you know, we want to do a show for the fans. Yeah, we're going to do a show for the fans. We want to do a fan-pleasing show. They will never address that they were actively participating in attacking fandoms. That they're weaponizing Twitter and weaponizing the media uh, to attack fandoms. And they're going to hope all of this goes down the memory hole. That's, that's the point of this. Hollywood hopes wokeness and cancel culture goes down the memory hole so in five or ten years you continue to buy their products and it's probably gonna work i'm being honest it's probably gonna work cancel culture isn't gonna disappear it's not gonna be this big 
explosion, like boom, that's the end of cancel culture. That's the end of activist entertainment. That's the end of woke. No, it'll just be like, yeah, we're not doing that kind of stuff anymore. Kind of like Netflix is doing now. We're just going to quietly cancel shows that uh, just happen to have activist showrunners and just happen to have activist themes. And then we're going to say, yeah, it's, it's because of the recession. It's because our stock's down. When in reality, they're like, no, shit, we got to write the shit. But we're never going to tell the audience they were right. We're never going to tell the audience they were right. We're just going to quietly course correct and hope that people forget all about it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.